Okay, hello everyone. So I'm back. It's been a while since the last video update. Although technically I've been updating the map version behind the scenes. I think it's important, an important milestone because as you can see here, I've more or less completed the different quote unquote night of skins at least at, uh, for the heroes. So let's go over them. So you have here the different keepers of the grove. And then we have the different priestesses of the moon. We are poised to strike. Strike. Act. Is it time? Trust in my command. We are poised to strike. We must act. And finally, we have the different wardens. Okay, so again, we finally more or less completed the heroes. Now, uh, I'm gonna point out some of the uh, different new things for the different factions. So, first things first, we have to differentiate the Knight of Units, particularly the female ones in the original sentinels and then in the black moon army so in case you didn't know i've been uh uploading new uh watcher units in at the hive workshop so as you can see here you have the female knight of units wearing the oops black armor of your warden which is why if you notice i've moved the Warden uh, original model for the Warden into the Black Moon Army. I am In or so as you can see here for the supposedly original Sentinels, I've made a Warden hero similar, uh, looking more like the Huntress. And then if you take note of the Huntress mount, I made it look more like the, or actually it's the White Tiger mount of your Priestess of the Moon. So if you've uh, checked out my other uh, models, you will notice that I've been making a lot of sort of uh, sub-factions within the human. So for example, I have uh, models for the different seven kingdoms in the uh, Warcraft universe. So I think it's time that maybe I should start uh, sort of making different sub-factions within Night Elf. So. At least now we have the Sentinels versus the Watchers. Although, again, it's still lacking. But at least it's a beginning. Now, in addition, I've also started making the Satyr units. So before, I uh, only had very few. Trust in my command. Okay, so basically satyr reskins of the original Night of units. But for the animals, you will notice that I'm actually using the corrupted ancient textures. So kind of a throwback to how Savius was once some uh, kind of uh, in a tree form in one of the novels, if I recall. And then lastly, I'd like to bring up the different Naga units. Particularly my Naga Centaur models. So if you take note, I'm actually com I've actually combined custom textures from other uh, authors from at the Hive Workshop in order to differentiate my Naga Centaur models from other Naga units because it's kind of repetitive. Uh, I've been reusing the Naga Siren and the Naga Summoner texture a lot. So one way to differentiate them more is to use other people's custom texture in conjunction with my own custom models. So as you can see here, the red Naga Siren texture kind of meshes well with the red Makrura texture. And then for the hero, take note, 
I also found another cool uh, custom texture for the Naga Siren. So when I combined it with the uh, one of my other Naga Center models, it meshes well with the purple Makura texture. On my way. Okay, so I guess that's it for the Night Elves as if as of now. So I still have a lot to do, particularly the different non Night Elf units. So you have the different creatures, especially the siege units. And also I still have a lot to do with the buildings, particularly for the ancients. So that's gonna be a tough one. And then as you know, I still have a lot to do for the other races as well, especially the undead. Again, st still no new units for the undead. And also still lacking some units for the orcs. Although, no problem with the buildings. My most complete so far are the humans. As far as I know, aside from the siege units, the only uh, human unit I'm lacking is the uh, kid version of the Griffon Rider. So I hope you stay tuned for future updates. And that's about, now. Uh, that's about it for now.